Hi, I'm back from Scribble Showdown. This video is gonna look rough, sort of like my tour announcement video, because I just want to tell a quick story while it's still fresh in my head, nothing fancy, forgive me. I'm sure you'd all love to hear about every little detail, but nothing super interesting happened aside from the usual tour stuff. We checked out a cool art exhibit called Meow Wolf in New Mexico, we saw the giant bean in Chicago, we did a charity stream for Thank Miss where Aaron said he'd kiss James on the lips if we raised 40,000, and he did. Like I said, nothing super interesting. And I could go on and on about how grateful I am for this experience and how much I loved spending time with everyone and meeting new people and how much I appreciate everyone who welcomed me onto this tour, but this isn't the time to be wholesome! I'm here to tell you a very unwholesome story about the worst thing that happened to me on this tour. Worst thing aside from throwing up on the bus after a show in Nashville, that is. So, there was a running joke during the tour about how no matter how cold it got where we traveled, I refused to wear pants. I only wore skirts and shorts, and if it just so happened to be too cold, I just wore tights underneath, varying in thickness based on how cold it was. I did bring a single pair of pants, which I wore for approximately two hours before ripping them off in favor of a skirt. So, I became known amongst the team as the one who never wore pants. It's the morning of our Chicago show. I check the weather and discover that it's going to be a chilly 30 degrees outside. I decide I'm going to wear a casual winter outfit I packed, which consists of a shirt, a hoodie, a puffy jacket, tights, over-the-knee socks, and of course, shorts. So I put on my shirt and my hoodie, my tights, my socks, and my puffy jacket, misplace my phone for a little bit, find it, and get all packed up and ready to head to the venue. I met Jaden and Ross in the hotel lobby, called an Uber, and as soon as we stepped outside, I said to Jaden, wow, it feels a lot nicer today than it did yesterday. We get into the Uber, get dropped off near the venue, cross the street, and I lead the two over to the back of the building, where we drag our heavy luggage cases up a flight of stairs with them right behind me. Finally, we flop onto the couches of the green room and I decide this is the perfect time to reward myself with some coffee from the nearby Starbucks. So I get up, head for the exit, and I run into our tour manager, Matt. He goes, did you finally wear pants today? And I point to my legs and go, nope, I'm wearing shorts. And I look down and my shorts are not there. <gasps> walking around without bottoms it's 1 p.m did i seriously forget to put on my shorts <gasps> do Jaden and ross know i awkwardly walk back into the green room i'm sweating bullets grab my shorts make a run for the bathroom run to the mirror maybe this is okay the tights could easily be mistaken for thin leggings maybe it's opaque enough so it's not obvious from the back i turn around no it's so obvious you can see everything <laughs> so Guess who was double-cheeked up on a Wednesday afternoon on a cold Chicago day and nobody told me! I retraced my steps from that morning and rapidly sank into deeper despair. The way I checked out of the hotel, the way I climbed into the Uber right in front of Jaden and Ross, the way I walked in front of them the entire time we crossed the street and went behind the venue, the way I was the first one up the stairs with my luggage with everyone right underneath me! <laughs> If this video gets demonetized, I only have myself to blame. There's no way they don't know, right? Are they staying quiet because they didn't want to make me feel embarrassed? That makes it even more embarrassing! As it turns out, Jaden didn't notice anything until she saw my tweet about it and asked me what happened. And once I explained, she laughed and said, You know, subconsciously, I had a feeling something was missing when I saw you this morning, but I couldn't put my finger on it. And you know what? That is understandable, because why would you expect anyone to be dumb enough to forget their bottoms in Chicago in December? You know how sometimes when you wear a skirt with tights, you'll use the bathroom and then accidentally tuck part of your skirt into them so one of your butt cheeks is exposed for a bit? I've done that a few times, but never in my life have I ever just straight up forgotten to put on a crucial piece of my wardrobe. You know, until now, on tour, in the city, in front of people who I respect and admire. I decided to draw my feelings during soundcheck to cope with the embarrassment. Even though our tour manager Matt technically didn't notice anything amiss when he saw me, if he hadn't mistaken my tights for pants, I would have probably never looked down. And you know what? I would have gotten my coffee and probably spent the whole day letting everyone know what color underwear I was wearing that day. So thanks, Matt. So, uh, moral of the story, uh, always take a moment to check yourself out in the mirror before you leave, even if you're in a hurry. 
And I know my parents are 100% watching this absolutely mortified, but listen, mom and dad, I gotta learn to laugh at my mishap sometimes. Coincidentally, a few weeks ago, my mom told me to be careful because she had a nightmare where I humiliated myself in front of a group of people. So here you go, mom. The prophecy has been fulfilled. I embarrassed myself big time. Sorry, I couldn't avoid fate or whatever. So yeah, that's the worst thing that ever happened to me on the Scribble Showdown tour. Other than that, I had a great time. In the spirit of monetizing my suffering, I'd like to mention that this video is sponsored by Gamersups. As someone who likes a bit of caffeine to start the day, I've included Gamersups as a pretty regular addition to my morning routine. I mix in one scoop of powder with some water and I keep it by my desk to sip on while I work or play TFT at 4 in the morning. My personal favorite flavor is Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000, which is a flavor created by Russian Badger. And yes, you heard me correctly. It tastes just like Baja Blast Mountain Dew. Trust me, don't be deterred by the name. It's just a funny name, it tastes delicious, so if I had to recommend any flavor, it would be that one. And my second favorite is Dragon Fruit Punch. There's no chalky or chemical aftertaste, all the powders have zero calories, zero carbs, and zero sugar, and there's even a line of caffeine-free powders, if that's more to your liking. Gamersups is also known for their waifu cups, which are transparent cups that feature some lovely 2D ladies that take on the color of whatever drink you choose. There's a possibility that I might get my own designed cup, but I don't know, we'll have to wait and see on that one. Gamersups wants to give away 5,000 free samples with free shipping to anywhere in the world, so use the code EMMARICHU to receive some free samples. Check out the link in the description to see the variety of flavors and cup designs that Gamersubs has to offer, and a big thank you to Gamersubs for sponsoring this video.